financial statement of business organization. Business is an economic activity. Therefore, number of economic transactions take place during the year. Each business financial transaction is first recorded in journal or subsidiary book. And on the basis of journal and subsidiary book, posting is done in ledger and balance of each account is found. On the basis of closing balance of each account, trial balance is prepared. If total of credit balance and debit balance of trial balance are equal, then arithmetically account are correct. After preparation of trial balance, next stage is called final account. In this chapter, we'll learn about the final account. Let's see about the meaning. Financial statement are organized summaries of detailed information about financial position of an enterprise. Following two statements are included in financial statement. In the first statement, it is trading account and profit and loss account. An account which shows the result of profit or loss of business operating during the accounting period. And the next statement is the balance sheet, a statement which shows the financial position of an enterprise. Trial balance and financial statement. Debit and credit balance are shown in trial balance, which we have already learned in last chapter, which are classified as per rule of final account, where we'll learn about the trading account, profit and loss account, and balance sheet. Now balance of trial balance is like debit balance where we keep the debit side of trading account, debit side of profit and loss account and asset side of balance sheet. Whereas at the credit balance of the trial balance where we keep credit side of trading account, credit side of profit and loss account and liability side of balance sheet. This we'll learn in detail. Here it comes with the trading account. Trading account is a financial statement which shows the result of buying and selling of goods and service during an accounting period. And that is a specimen of trading account. In specimen of trading account, first we put a heading like trading account of Sri. The name of a person will be written for the year ended on 31st March. In India, we keep the closing entry, closing accounting period is always 31st March year, whichever year is given in the question that you have to write over here. Now in this specimen, before I go in the beginning detail, I'll show you over here where we can see expenses relating to purchase, expenses relating to production and material consumed. These are the same expenses which I shown you in my last video of trial balance. These are the same. So this will be easy to understand while solving a trading account. Trial balance up ke samne question ki tarah aega aur us question mein se when you are going to solve final account in trading account you have to keep their position over here. The expenses related to the purchase of goods will be written over here. You can match this specimen with your last chapter that is trading a uh, trial balance specimen. These are totally similar, the expenses I'm talking about. And let's start with the first one. What we have to start with the trading account first, the entry will come that is opening stock. Next is purchase, we get less minus with the purchase written, minus goods going on other than sale. This you will understand better when I'll show you one more video with the solution of final account. Over credit side, sales, less sales written which will be calculated and then the amount will be written outside same in the purchase purchase amount will be written inside even the written will get minus even the goods going over other than let sell then the amount will be written out if the information is given in the question if it is not given we can write the amount directly outside at the end of this account when we make a total of trading account we can find balance over the debit side or over the credit side. Wherever we found a balance out of the total, if we found balance on the debit side, the, that balance will be known as a gross profit. Or if we found balance on the credit side, that would be gross loss. Now this gross profit and gross loss will cross move the cross entry to the next account that is our profit and loss account. 
you can see in this specimen gross loss it comes in the cross entry from the credit side it moves to the debit and from the debit side it moves to the credit that is gross profit i wrote income so let's start with the next specimen that is profit and loss account now after knowing gross profit or gross loss from the trading account the account is prepared to find out net profit or net loss after consideration other income and other expense of business is called profit and loss account here is the specimen of profit and loss account same we have to write the profit and loss account of shri the name of a person for the year ending on 31st march whatever the year will be given so this is what the specimen now here from administrative expense from say uh, then selling and distribution expense then financial expense other expense and losses are totally similar and the same like what i have shown you in my last trial balance video it is same side as well it comes at the debit side even you will see check over here this side also same the income side of the profit and loss account that is credit side here i always say keep the rules of uh, nominal rules in your mind expenses and losses comes on the debit side and income and gain comes on the credit side all only the difference when we check with the trading account the goods related when we purchase a goods related expenses will come over here and incomes come over here same here in the form of income that is sale i am talking about the sale of goods that is our income and in the profit and loss account the expenses comes on the debit side and the incomes comes on the credit side so here we finish the trading account and profit and loss account that is the one statement of the financial statement moving to the last and the most important that is balance sheet a balance sheet is a statement showing financial position of the enterprise at a given date a balance sheet may be defined as a statement prepared with view to measure the exact financial position of business as a certain fixed date now here also same we have to write down the balance sheet of shri the name of a person and as on that is 31st march the year whichever year is given in the textbook so here you can see here i didn't wrote particular year comes on the debit side these all are the liabilities comes on the balance sheet and the credit side comes the asset so i'm going to take you one more important point that is over here you can see here a debit side in the trial balance trading account debit side will remain at the tra uh, debit side profit and loss account with expenses will remain on the debit side but the asset side of the balance sheet that is cross yani ki over here you can see it is given on the credit side and the liability which was given in the trial balance on the credit side which will move on the debit side of the balance sheet but here we can't say debit or credit here you have to talk about the liability and the asset because fine balance sheet here we are going to make a final statement now in this final statement the capital this is take as in formula you have to write down in your book that is capital plus additional capital if it is given in the question plus interest on capital given if it is given in the adjustment net profit if we are uh, found from the profit and loss account same here uh, how we did in the trading account if we found the difference over debit side this will known as a net profit or if we found the difference on the credit side then it will call as a net loss so agar aapko net profit mila that would be added in the capital yeah if you found the net loss that would be added to the drawing after the calculation done inside then we'll remove outside this you will understand much more when i'll show you the solution see all the liabilities comes over here that is general reserve capital reserve other reserve workman compensation fund investment fluctuation fund and non current liabilities like bank loan other financial institute loan fixed deposit loan taken from the friends and relatives current liabilities like creditor i wrote all the name over here that is supplier and seller bills payable bank overdraft outstanding expense income received in advance workman profit sharing fund provision for tax and provident fund this side you will see all the non current asset which i already wrote over here then in the current asset debtors customer traders now this is one kind of calculation which will be done with the debtors 
that is depth is minus bed depth minus bed depth reserve after removing calculation we will take the amount outside bills receivable cash balance bank balance closing stock income receivable and in the loan loan lent bills oh, sorry over not here won't come bills receivable loan given to employee advance paid for purchase or expenses paid in advance here I, this is what we are going to prepare from the balance sheet here this is the one calculation which i want to show you in the profit and loss account as well in the profit and loss account you can see this is something extra which we, we have not done in the trial balance now what is this the calculation will be given in the final account that calculation will be done over here bad debt which is given in the trial balance the amount will be written over here plus with the bad debt adjustment which is given in your adjustment that it will be given in the question only then here comes reserve same here plus bad debt reserve which is given in the adjustment will be written over here after adding this three amount will get minus with the bad debt reserve of the trial balance after the calculation done inside we'll take the amount outside next the loss by fire and thief sale of asset lo loss on sale of investment provision for expenses will be continue in the profit and loss debit side now this is what the calculation which I will show you in the next video of my calculation which will be written over here you can see the adjustment I wrote at the two side because whenever we start solution of the final account we will found the cal question will be divided into the two part one part will be given as a trial balance and another part with the adjustment from the adjustment whatever calculation will do will be passed to the two entries to the two accounts and from the trial balance the amount will be written only once from the any one of the account my it's it might be sounding confusion but this will be clear in my next video with the calculation which i will show you with final account